right. Welcome to Riding with Ride a Map today. We're just outside of Sparks, Nevada, which is outside of Reno, Nevada. And I've got Mrs. Ride a Map, Teen Ride a Map, and our friends who live in Reno, who used to live in Tennessee. <laughs> I was really worried when we saw those clouds that we wouldn't get any views, but this is, this is fantastic. So we got the teens driving the mothers around. Hey. Anyway, I got some funny stories, fun times with these people. And they have been good friends of ours for many, many years. Back when they had three and we only had two kids. Now they have five and we have four. So it's really nice of these people, the Kips, the names. to let us come out and stay out with them and they have quads and a razor a little kid razor so it's good stuff but we had we've gone camping with them many times and when it's more interesting when I'm actually out riding, I'd love to tell that story. But for right now, it's lazy daisy four-wheel time. These four-wheelers are huge. The four-wheel, the four-by-four ones, not race ones. So they're kind of lazy daisy. I think one of them is a Polaris. But man, you people out west are spoiled. Don't have to pay anything. This is all BLM land. Just go wherever you want to go. It's awesome. Okay, so back when we first went camping with this these people, the Kips very first camping trip our kids were little couldn't do much without our help and they were a little bit of a hill climb here but we had a we were borrowing my brother-in-law's pop-up trailer and it was we were getting ready to leave I had always I always parked the vehicle we were using which was a Ford Explorer just in front of the pop-up you know so you had to slide it out you slide out the beds and I would always park you know that far to where it would slide out here's the back of the trailer it would slide out and we'd stop right here right so that way when we were ready to take it down all I had to do was pull the trailer up to the hitch and my my friend Mr. Kip I got his help. I was like, I need your help to pull this trailer up. And of course, he's probably thinking, he, he was thinking probably the things you're thinking right now. Why don't you just start the vehicle? And as I go down this steep grade, as I just fish tail, whee! As uh, why don't you just start the vehicle and back it up to the hitch? Well, my philosophy has always been you only get so many starts out of a starter. And then that starter will die. So why waste a start when you can just back up, pull the trailer yourself? <laughs> and he thought it was crazy. And at the time, you know, we were, it's our first camping trip together. So he didn't feel like speaking his mind 
But now, every time he tells that story, the trailer gets further and further away from the Explorer. And it gets heavier and heavier, and it's always really funny to hear him tell it. Yeah! Desert riding is a lot different. It's a lot of fun. And I'm probably gonna have to reposition my microphone because it's bumped out a little bit. And I want to go up to the top of that. I want to go up there. So we'll see about going up there after I go back and check in. See if Mr. Kip wants to take Brapet for a ride. But this is, again, this is moon, moon rocks in Nevada, outside of Reno. It's on the OHV app if you check those out, if you have one. That's a pretty fun little place. It's actually not very little. The staging area is kind of small, but it's totally awesome. And there's a lots of whoops everywhere. Lots of whoops, you get some berms, got some hill climbs. Totally worth the drive. Oh, there we are. I thought it was further south. Yama Joe, thank you for those whoops lessons. 